The fourth day, the gift of knowledge. As we commemorate several saints on today's calendar, we pray that the risen Christ may strengthen all of us in living a life of heroic virtue, of faith, hope, and love. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful and kindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your spirit, and they shall be created and you shall renew the face of the earth. According to the scriptures, true knowledge can only be acquired by recognizing the loving call of God and by responding with love to his divine plan. St. John's Gospel tells us, this is eternal life, that they should know you, the only true God, and the one whom you have sent, Jesus Christ. Knowledge is centered entirely on the supreme mystery of Christ and his dying and rising, which unlock the meaning of every human life and of all history. As a gift of the Holy Spirit, knowledge gives us certainty that all things are ordered to God in Christ. This knowledge is revealed on every page of scripture, is deepened by the church's living tradition, and is celebrated in the liturgy. By a new Pentecost in our time, may the Holy Spirit confirm in us a sure knowledge of the truths of faith. Let us pray. Father, we ask you to send the Holy Spirit upon our minds and hearts so that the gift of knowledge, which is ours by baptism and confirmation, may be purified and deepened. May the darkness of our sins be overcome by the splendor of knowing you, the only true God, and the one whom you have sent, Jesus Christ. Filled with the knowledge imparted by the Holy Spirit, may we radiate light for the salvation of the world. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Mary, blessed with knowledge, pray for us. Almighty and merciful God, source of all life, health, and healing, look with compassion on our world, brought low by the coronavirus. Protect us in the midst of the grave challenges that assail us, and in your fatherly providence, grant recovery to the stricken, strength to those who care for them, and success to those working to eradicate this scourge. We make this prayer moved by the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of Jesus, your beloved Son. Amen.